The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlooker should laugh at him and say, this one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Do we have any Bob Dylan fans here today? It's like we have a couple. In 1978, Dylan converted to evangelical Christianity. He believed that he had experienced a vision of Christ in his Tucson hotel room while on tour. He's quoted as saying, Jesus did appear to me as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And he would later say, there was a presence in the room that couldn't have been anybody but Jesus. Following his dramatic conversion, Dylan released his 19th studio album in 1979, entitled Slow Train Coming, on which all of the songs spoke of his newfound Christian faith. The hit song from this album was called, Gotta Serve Somebody. Here are two of the verses from the song. You may be a construction worker working on a home, you may be living in a mansion, or you might live in a dome. You might own guns, and you might even own tanks. You might be somebody's landlord. You might even own banks. But you're gonna have to serve somebody. Yes, indeed, you're gonna have to serve somebody. Well, it may be the devil, or it may be the Lord, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. The lyrics of this song reflect the message of today's gospel reading, that no matter who we are, no matter what our state in life, we must each make a decision as to who or what we will serve above all else. Who or what will take first place in our lives? Dylan gets it right with his message that giving primacy of place to anyone or anything other than God is essentially serving the devil. When Jesus tells us that we must hate our father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life in order to be a disciple, he's not speaking literally. Rather, he is saying that he, Jesus Christ, must be our first love above everything else in our lives, that we must be devoted to him without compromise and willing to bear whatever trials or opposition may come for his sake and the sake of his kingdom. Detachment from worldly things, including family loyalties, 
is a demand of every disciple of Christ. We must choose to love God above all else, to love the Creator more than His creation. We must put God's will and the pursuit of holiness above everything else. So let's honestly ask ourselves, who or what are we serving in our lives? Where do our loyalties lie? Do we seek to serve God above all else, or do we only think of him when we're in church? Each of us must choose who we will serve, who or what holds first place in our lives, even when this service is challenging, inconvenient, or counter-cultural. God bless you.